Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below so we can expand our Squatch search with your help. If you do have an encounter to tell, send to SoCal Sasquatch Organization at gmail.com. We now have SCSO Keep On Squatching t-shirts available. See link in description below. Join the community and show it off wherever you go. Report number 57880, Class Alpha. Submitted by witness on Saturday, July 15, 2017. Juvenile observed during the daytime by a bow hunter near Alto Pass. Year 2013. Season, Fall. Month, October. Date, 29th. State, Illinois. County, Union County. Location details. I cannot explain directions but could show by map. The names of the roads are not on the signs. Nearest town, Alto Pass. Observed. I am an avid outdoorsman and bow hunter in southern Illinois. I have hunted all over the U.S., seeing many animals in all kinds of terrain. But this day was not like any other I have ever had. I was heading to some public land that adjoins to the river trail. I drove between two orchard fields to get there. I have hunted this spot many times. I have seen numerous mountain lions, bobcats, coyotes, etc. in this location. I unloaded my gear and set off to a part of the public land rarely visited by people. If not for me, I doubt anyone would ever go back to the spot. It was right around 11.30 a.m. I had been walking approximately 30 to 45 minutes into the woods. I came to around 900 yards from my spot. It was pretty open. The leaves had fallen off the trees and I could see a good distance. I started walking and I heard a snap of a branch other than mine. I believed it to be a deer so I stopped behind a big white oak tree in which I was behind and leaned against it. I went to peer around it and I couldn't believe my eyes. It's like nothing I have ever seen before. I was approximately 78 yards away according to my rangefinder. I thought my eyes were playing tricks on me as to what I had seen. It was gray with a slight bit of tan and brown mixed into its coat. It looked to be around four and a half to five feet tall. It did stand on two legs, but I believe it smelled me when the wind picked up and blew towards it and it dropped very, very low to the ground, lower than a bear could go, and I ducked back behind the tree. When I looked back from behind the tree, it was gone. I believed it was a baby Bigfoot. As I have heard rumors and stories of this public land from countless people and friends being chased up trees, rocks thrown at them, and their stands being ripped to shreds. Also noticed, I had one more encounter at this location two weeks later. I have not been back since the last sighting. It was not a baby. Other witnesses, zero. Other stories, yes. People seeing or being chased up trees by two-legged creature with black or cinnamon-colored fur. Time and conditions, very bright light few clouds. The trees had just lost a lot of their leaves and had very good visibility that day, even with a little bit of undergrowth. Environment. Very thick brush leading into hills of hardwoods with the back part of a lake around one mile away. Follow-up investigation report by BFRO investigator Stan Courtney. I spoke with the witness by phone. In summary, what appears to have been a juvenile animal was observed by a bow hunter. The animal was 78 yards away. The animal was four and a half to five feet tall and standing upright. The animal was gray with a slight bit of tan and brown 
mixed into its coat. The witnesses follows. Report number 59073, Class Alpha. Submitted by witness on Saturday, February 17, 2018. Bow Hunter has another daylight sighting from his stand near Alto Pass. Year 2013. Season Fall. Month November. Date the 12th. State Illinois. County Union County. Nearest town Alto Pass. Observed. I was sitting in my deer stand at 10 in the morning. I heard something going through the brush and observed a solid black, 8 foot tall animal walking across a small clearing. It walked 30 to 40 feet to get through the clearing and it was 40 yards from my deer stand. It was muscular with broad shoulders. As I was in my deer stand and, it, and I did not make any sounds, I don't believe it knew I was there and it never looked in my direction. Other witnesses? No. Other stories? I had one more encounter at this location two weeks earlier. Time and conditions? 10 a.m. Environment? Thick brush and hardwoods. Follow-up investigation report by BFRO investigator Stan Courtney. I spoke with the witness by phone. In summary, the witness watched from his deer stand an upright animal walk across a clearing. The animal was 40 yards away. The animal was 8 feet tall. The animal had a muscular build with wide shoulders. The animal was solid black in coloring.